we are told Iman and her mom bought the flowers shown in the picture from the market. Okay, these are the flowers here. There's eight of them. They want to divide the flowers equally between them. Which fraction bar out of these choices here represents the number of flowers each person will have? So you could pause this video and have a go at it, and then we'll do it together. All right, now let's do it together. Now before I even think about fraction bars and what that even means, let's just think about this straight up. We have eight flowers here. They're going to divide them equally between them. So half of them could go to Iman, and then the other half could go to her mom. All right, that's straight enough, but that's, that's straightforward enough, but that's still not fraction bars. So what do we mean by fraction bars? Well, one way to think about it is if we, have, if we make a bar as the whole, so let's make this the whole of all of the flowers. Now each flower is what fraction of the whole? Well, there's a total of eight flowers, so each flower, for example, this one right over here, this is one eighth of all of the flowers. So let me take our whole and divide it into eighths. So that's dividing it into halves. This is fourths. I'm trying to do is equal sections. It's hand drawn, so it's not perfect. And then if I split each of these, this is into eighths. Imagine that these are all equal areas. Now, so each of these, this is an eighth, this is an eighth, this is an eighth, that's an eighth. I think you get the idea. That's an eighth. Each of these boxes represent an eighth. If you take them all together, you have eight eighths, which is a whole. And that's all of the flowers. So each of these, that flower there, you could say that's that eighth, if you want to think about it that way. So they say which fraction bar represents the number of flowers each person will have. So we could pick either Iman or her mom. Let's just pick Iman. So how many of those eighths does Iman have? Well, Iman has not just one eighth. That's one of the flowers. She has two, three, four flowers. Two, three, four flowers. So it's actually four of those eighths. So what Iman has is four eighths of all of the flowers, which you might also recognize as being one half of the flowers. But which of those fraction bars represents that? Well, we see that right over here, choice D. They split it into eighths. Each eighth represents a flower. And Iman gets half of them. And they shaded in half of them right over there. So we like, we like this choice.